Oh, he's only got four hogs for the rest of the attack. And he still doesn't get the full pool. And, oh my gosh. Is he really about to end on the town hall? Huh? We're back, ladies and gentle fingers, with the next OP matchup. Space Station versus Queen Walker's Stephanie. Let me pull up Leo's cam. Here he is. In the King Championship Tournament, we've got four teams left in the upper bracket. Two teams waiting for them in the lower bracket. This is a double elimination playoffs tournament here with, I believe, 1,500 USD on the line. Leo coming in with the first attack of the match against Queen Walkers with a little Queen Charge Lalo action. A couple of piggies to pull the clan castle units, and he does get all of them. Nicely done. So Queen can easily fight the CC troops on the outside of the base. That's nice. We got the poison spell for the archers and the headhunter. He'll be able to take care of the lava dog. <laughs> Takes her two to three business days to get through all those pups, but eventually she does. She's going to keep walking around to the right. I think he wants her to go inside for the inferno tower. And then we should be able to clan clash the rest of the base. He's got a bowler up there to funnel. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Queen going to go inside. Oh, maybe it's actually a uh, 3,000 USD prize pool. I think I was told wrong earlier. But here we go. Queen gonna get the town hall. We might have to freeze or invis to keep these healers alive. There goes the rage. There goes the freeze. There goes another Coco Loon. King on the top side. Which way is he gonna go? He's gonna keep going in toward that channel. Okay. We freeze the single one more time. <laughs> We still have two wall breakers for this queen. Raise the queen up. We're just really trying to power through these expos in single. There's the invis. Come on, queen. Come on, queen. There's a bunch of traps. The balloon pulls. King, royal champion on the top side. Gets some good value. Lalo with an early as heck warden ability from the south side. Queen finds a tornado trap. She doing the disco dance early in the morning here. We're going to freeze up the eagle and the scatter. Lots of multis. We wall break to the top side. Can we get any balloons to take out that scatter shot on the left? We haste into the bottom multi. Queen's taking five ever to get over there. Did he start the Lalo too early? He had a lot of time to work with on the clock. Why did he start so early? That dragon's gonna take out the left scatter. Warden is distracting the other scatter for these balloons to sneak in. One seeking air mine. Down goes the scatter. Down goes the air defense. He got it. Ooh, how about that? We can see his camera, bro. All of the pixels. It's like in 144p. LOL. Nice cam. But it's a three star and a little bit of pressure against Queen Walkers to start this match. Stadra is in with a little super dragon smash action. In the last two matches, we saw him switch back to the super bowlers. Today, he's going in with the super dragons again. And let's see if he can get it done. Queen over at eight o'clock. Super Dragons in from the top left side of the base. Stone Slammer as usual. Yep, early Warren ability as usual as well. <laughs> Double Rage setup. King out in front of the Queen. We're going to have to fight this enemy King super duper early. And the King's going to dip out. That might cost us the Queen ability right away. Uh-oh. He's going to go with the Freeze and a Headhunter trying to save that Queen ability. The Town Hall drops. We freeze the single. The Warden dies early. Uh-oh. Stodra could be in trouble here with that Warden dying right away. Was it Headhunters from the CC? I'm not sure what killed him. Queen gets locked onto by the ground bow. She's still going to die. No, she has her ability. We rage in the core. We still got a royal champion that we could use. He needs to get rid of that CC building, though. So he's going to freeze the enemy RC. The rage of dragon. He freezes for it to take out the CC. Oh, oh. Bro, the CC died after the dragon died. What the? But clutch. That means the lava hound is never going to come out. And he can send the royal champion to help out. That was actually super clutch, dude. It was so close to the CC staying up. We send RC from the bottom side of the base. There's a skelly trap. Dragons and riders trying to get through this multi. We're going to rage everybody up. Lots of skelly traps. Good thing he saved the poison. RC will get through the multi. RC will get through the expo. We still got her ability. Oh, this is actually looking super close, though. The king and the queen died. It's a fail. 
Rip Stodra smash, dude. All the heroes just went poof. Oh, jeez. Where do we use the baby dragon? From the right for the collector. The collector is just the best option. He can only get like one more building. Rip. Down goes the baby dragon. It's a 91% for Stadra and an early lead for Space Station in this match. Bernal is in with his famous queen charge. La, la, let's see if we can find his camera. There he is. <laughs> Rocking the beanie as usual. We got queen over at eight o'clock. Okie dokie. Balloons on the cannon to funnel. We wall break queen directly in toward the air defense, toward the expo. Ooh, tell me she goes back to the right. Oh, or not? Oh, the invis to bring her back around. <laughs> Unfortunate that we had to use that extra spell, but at least we get queen going the right way. Here we go. L Flame flinger for the town hall. Okay, okay, okay. I can dig it. We rage the queen up. She's gonna keep walking to the right toward the scatter. Sweet. We already got that second wall break. She fights the enemy royal champion. She'll go toward the scatter. Hopefully the healers don't get targeted by this multi. They're really close, but not yet getting targeted. Flame Flinger will get the town hall easily. Queen keeps walking down. She can dodge the multi for now. We got minions funneling on the south side. King to walk in toward the southern compartment. All right. You think the Flame Flinger can get that multi eventually? Maybe. Just depends on the traps. We rage up the queen. King will get the Ooh, warden with the king. Interesting. Minion in behind. There's a gap in the wall so king can keep going. Ooh, look at this. Send a headhunter. Pop the king ability. Pop warden ability. Ooh. Yes, keep all those barbarians alive, bro. They get so much value when you do that. There's the tornado trap. The headhunter pulled it. CC troops coming out. Town hall goes down. It's looking good so far. Queen's gonna beat through a wall to go to the core. We raise the royal champion. We drop the poison spell. And we start the Lalo from three o'clock. Okay, still feels a little strange. I don't know if the King RC Warden got enough value. If the Warden switches to the Lalo, that would help out a ton. But right now that scatter shot is wrecking his balloons. We send headhunters, we raise the Lalo. Queen got through the wall. Flameflinger is finally going for that left multi, but he took forever to get there. Warden, go help out the balloons. Red bombs. Woo. Woo. Queen dies. The left multi drops. Or it will in a few seconds. But all the balloons are dead. The queen didn't die. I lied. But now she does. His heroes didn't get enough. Oh, you can see his frustration. Rip. Down go the balloons. Down goes the dragon rider. How much percent does he get? What did Stodger get? 91? Can he beat the 91? 90. Oh my gosh, he's gonna tie it. Down goes the mortar. It's 91. Same as Stodra. Which means if Queen Walkers triple their next attack, we're gonna have a perfect tie. Uh-oh, nice try Bernal, but rip this attack. If you like the content I'm posting every day and you want to help support the channel, make sure to use code LEXNOS in the in-game shop before you make any in-app purchases in Clash of Clans. It helps support me a ton, so thank you so much to everybody who helps support the channel. Gaku is in with a little Super Bowl smash action. Nice. Warden. Walk over here on the right side of the base. We find a bunch of Teslas right away. Okay. If Gaku gets the triple here, we- Oh no, healers are switching to the giant. Uh, sir? Okay, the giant dies, they switch back. Nice. <laughs> if Gaku gets the three star here, we're gonna be perfectly tied on percent and stars, which is kind of crazy. The owl's chaining the expo off the eagle, that's pretty clutch. Which way are we gonna smash through? I guess the bottom side, so we can use the log launcher. Yep, here we go. Queen to pull the warden. Ice Golem, Wall Breaker. There was nothing to kill the Wall Breaker, so it gets too far. <laughs> Ooh, it's awkward. Becca to funnel the left. Here come the Super Bowlers. King to go all the way to the left. Ooh, what the heck is going on over here? Queen! 
She died through ability! Oh, rip! Now he has nothing to kill the lava dog, which could be a good thing, I guess? The lava dog's just gonna be chilling the whole time. <laughs> Nobody's gonna target it. King on the left side with the royal champion. Log launcher getting us all the way to the core. Log launcher gets us through the multi. We're gonna have to pop warden ability here. He got targeted by what? I don't even know. One of the expos? Not sure. There goes the jump. Tell me he still gets all the way to the town hall at least, bro. Yes. Healers, get off the warden. Get on the super bowlers. He keeps freezing. Pekka, super bowlers. Healers switch back. Town hall drops. RC still healthy. We got a skeleton spell, bro. This might still work. Hold on. 69 seconds left in the attack. Pog. Balloon on the top side to distract. We got RC ability. We still got a lot of super bowlers alive. Ooh, but the RC could switch to the hound. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh, she's definitely going to switch to the hound. Ooh, that's awkward. But we got the RC ability. We still got a poison spell to use. We got plenty of time, right? I think he gets it, dude. This man's literally just swagged a queen and still triples. Oh my gosh. There goes the poison. <laughs> Baby dragon on the backside. This is a three star. Oh, wow. Gaku, you legend. Jeez, look at him breathing a sigh of relief. Oh, jeez. Nice three star from Gaku, even without the queen. And taking a look at the stats. It's a perfect tie. Marinol is in with a little low, low action with seven zaps and a quake. It's the scatter shot and like four other defenses. Jeez. Nice zap value over there. Bowler bounce to funnel. King, queen on the top side of the base. Okie dokie. Here we go. Yeti to get the cannon. We're trying to get everybody in toward the enemy heroes over here. What's his plan for the multi? Maybe the RC? Yep. Oh, she's going the wrong way. Bro, did he really drop RC in the wrong spot? That multi's gonna stay up. The Teslas keep pulling her to the left. Uh-oh. And the CC troops are coming out. Bro, that multi's never gonna go down. Marn all. Oh, he definitely dropped up dropped bleh, dropped the RC in the wrong spot. Those headhunters are wrecking his royal champion. Did she even get the ability off? No. He doesn't even get the eagle, bro. This Sui's getting like zero value. What the? Ugh. That's gonna be a tough Lalo. That Sui got little, little value. That's unfortunate. He could send the stone slammer to get all that extra value. And he's just gonna Lalo straight through the town hall. He's not even close to 50% yet, though. Pulls the tornado trap. None of those lava pups woke up the town hall. Ooh. Yeah, that stone slammer's a little late because the eagle's staying up for a long time now. Town hall wakes up. We freeze. We don't have a rage, but we'll haste through it. We pop it a little bit too early, maybe one second too early. Stone Slammer's gonna die. Can it go take out the Eagle, though? I think it will. Oh, Warden's gonna take a lot of damage. We haste. We freeze. We freeze again through the back end. Come on, get the Eagle down. Please. Dragon Rider. Thank you. We're all out of spells. Dragon Rider going for the single. Not gonna get it, though. Without any more spells. Oh, man. If his heroes had just would have gotten the multi and the Eagle, I think he still would have had it, dude. It was a pretty decent Lalo. But this wizard tower and Tesla farm is going to pop off on these loons. Warden's on 1 HP. He's going to die to the single as well. Rip Marinol. That Sui just did not get enough. Oh, man. He's got 20 more seconds for these minions and pups to pick up some percentage points on the bottom side of the base. But it's going to be like an 85% attack, if that. Jeez. I really do think if Isui just got the multi and the eagle, like just those two more buildings, he would have had it. Because that Lalo was so tough with the eagle just banging on his troops the entire time. 84%, nice try. Stars is in with a little more Lalo action. We got four invisibilities, one bat, one skelly. He's got to be going for a, a belly donut. 
probably. Hmm. Where's he gonna start? There we go. There we go. Skeleton. Bat. He's going for the CC. He's going for the multi. Next invis. One more. Boom. Multi goes down. CC building. Drops. Perfect start for stars. Okay. Here we go. What's next? Ooh. Hound. Blimp. Is it a, just a Yeti bomb? Gotta be. Ooh, Yeti slap that queen silly. Take out the Inferno Tower as well. Yeti might hop over the wall. Grab the Expo. Beautiful. Queen to walk left. Looks like we want her to go get the Town Hall. King on the top side. He's gonna go to the right and get the scatter shot. Okay. I can dig it. Ice Golem gonna pop. King with Royal Champion in behind. Looking good. I love the split Sui with Queen going one way, King and RC working together on the other side. We got the invis for the Queen and the Unicorn to get all the way to the Town Hall. And we start the Lalo slightly early to keep the Royal Champion alive. I like it. King makes his way all the way to the core, takes out the Wizard Tower. Queen pops her ability. Town Hall goes down. We got the Lalo moving through. Royal Champion still alive, helping the Lalo. Headhunters are making their way in. We haste. We pop Warden ability. Headhunters stay alive. Wow. This is looking really good. This is crushed. We got freezes for the back end. Scattershot air defense. That last Lava Hound still at full health. Down goes to Scattershot. He's got more loons now than what he started with. RC. Oh, I don't know if that freeze was worth it. She dies to the king anyway. I'm going to call that a swag freeze. But he didn't need it anyway, dude. Look how crushed this is. He's got 69 seconds still to go. Bro, how do I time that? Perfect every time. Little... Minions take out the storage. Baby dragon on the south side. Look at all... Oh, my gosh. The red bombs. Good thing the hound went first. Hello, tornado trap. Balloons take out the last inferno tower. It's a three star. All day long. Queen Walker started down by a star but now after the third round of attacks they take the lead by a star eight to seven lino is in with more lalo for us today okay flamey boy flinger on the south side of the base nice down goes the archer tower rocket balloons over here for the mortar nicely done queen seven o'clock to walk left we don't have any healers. We're just going for a little suey over here. There goes the wall break. Flame Flinger gonna get a bunch of value. Should be able to get all the way to the scatter. Maybe it can take out the multi. It just depends on how his pathing is. Maybe not. The walls aren't open for it over there. King, Queen, Headhunter making their way inside for the King. We drop a Skelly spell. Lots of Tesla's pop. I think the skelly spell is actually more effective if you drop it like on this side of the eagle because when you drop it on this side the multi is just killing all the skellies right away so i think just a little pro tip for you guys if you're going to use a skelly spell like that try to drop it on you know not in range of the multis it gets a little bit extra value if you do that queen gets stuck on the lava hound king pops his ability he's getting wrecked by skelly traps though oh we got the poison spell for the pups. Again, I don't know if the Sui is getting as much value as they wanted. We're going to send RC in for the multi. She's going to end up fighting the enemy RC. We got that headhunter, but that was pretty late. Yeah, that headhunter was swag. We ain't going to have to pop her ability because of the warden tower. We got the invis for the RC. Stone, I mean the stone slammer. Flame Flinger pops and we're going to start Lalo straight through the town hall. We pop queen ability. There's the rest of the Teslas over there. We invis the RC. She takes out both sweepers and gets the single. Yes, she gets the single just before she dies. We find the tornado trap. We freeze the town hall. We're sending headhunters. We're going to rage. We pop warden ability. Down goes the town hall. Headhunters snipe the queen. Looking decent. Last lava hound and group of balloons from the top side of the base. We path away from the Giga Poison. Multi's the last big threat here. We haste on the right side. We freeze the multi. We haste through it. He's got so many spells left, dude. Oh my gosh. He's got it. If he has the time. 30 seconds. We got a dragon to help him with cleanup. Test the farm on the back end, but he's got the haste. He's got the freeze. He's got an invis, bro. This is wrecked. Nice three star from Selino. 
and Space Station are back in it. If they can get a defense from Klaus, who's going to be up next. This one, just enough time to spare. Swag's another poison spell. Swag's the invis. Gets the last couple buildings. 12 seconds left over. It's a triple all day long. Guys, I also have a mini channel, my second Clash of Clans channel, where I'm posting daily content. Link down in the description below. Go check it out right now. Hit subscribe for even more daily Clash content. Klaus is in with more Lalo action. It's a belly donut Lalo. Let's see how he can do it against Bernal's base. Where do we start? Is he going for the multi? Which one? Which one is he going for? He's going for the upper one. Skeleton spell, bat spell, rage, invis. One more invis. Boom. Gets the multi. Gets the sweeper. And gets the CC building. Ooh, that sweeper was bonus. I don't know if he was expecting that, but that's nice. Balloons on the left. Battle blimp for the town hall. Sure. More balloons over here for a Tesla. Okay. Sneaky goblins will take out the town hall. King to go inside for the scatter shot. Wait. There's another Tesla. There's a skelly trap. Ooh, king going back outside. King going back outside. Rip the king pathing, brother. Yikers. We need that king to take out the scatter. He might still go in, but tell me... Oh, don't tell me he goes back outside afterward. Oh, he goes in. Beautiful. Takes out the scatter before he switches targets. Yes. Woo! King OP. But queen going inside. Oh, no. We want her to go outside. Rip. We can go back outside. We can go back outside. We can go back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and he wasted the invis. <laughs> Rip. We freeze on the right. RC getting the multi. We lolo into the eagle. Here we go. Kind of a messy suey, but I think it got all the value he wanted. We pop RC ability. We're getting through the Eagle Artillery. If he freezes the Eagle Builder Hut Expo, the RC could have stayed alive. Rip. He lets her die. We're going to haste through the Eagle. Queen still has her ability, but there's a single over there. How are we going to get Headhunters to target this Queen? Could get a little wonky here. We freeze the Scatter. We still got Warden ability. Here come the Headhunters from the top side. Pop Warden. Pop Warden. Yes. Queen's locked onto the Warden, but Headhunters are in. They target the Queen. We haste through the scatter. Down goes the queen. There's red bombs. Ooh, red bombs. Ooh, red bombs. But we're okay. He's got one more freeze. He distracts the wizard tower with one balloon. Bro, you might need a freeze. Oh. The balloons are low. 42 seconds. Warden's low as well. Oh, balloons are dropping. Bro, it's gonna get close. It's gonna get really close. We got the freeze. Only two balloons there. Warden's low on HP. Ooh, Warden switching targets. We got lots of minions on the top side. Down goes the cannon. Ooh, small bomb hits the archers. He's got it. There's so many minions. The air defense is going to be overwhelmed. Wow. That was close, though. <laughs> Super close attack for Klaus, but he gets through it. Ten seconds to spare, and it is a triple and Queen Walkers maintain their lead. The Castro is in with the final attack. For Space Station, he has to triple. He has to triple or else his team loses. Let's see what he can do here with a couple of sneakies to funnel these storages. Okay. Another Lalo attack. These guys really love their Lalo. Archer on the right side to pull the skelly traps on over. Sure. What's next? We dropped the queen right there, but she's in range of the archer tower. That is a little awkward. She's going to take a lot of damage while she's fighting the skelly trap. Wizard on the top side to funnel. Okie dokie. King over there. Which way do we expect him to walk? Oh, into the corner. We invis the queen. Is she supposed to get all the way to the town hall? Bro, that's a lot for her to get through. The giant hits a spring trap. We got an ice golem. We send the royal champion in between. There's going to be CC troops soon. I don't know if this queen gets to the town hall, dude. RC pops her ability. We invis the RC. We'll get that expo. That's going to help the queen at least. Oh, one more invis for the queen. RC stuck on the hound. Okay, she will get the town hall. Barely. Maybe. Oh, no. This timing. 
the Hound, the Expo on the Queen. Oh, he's gonna have to use all the freezes. Oh. Oh. That's so awkward. Please don't be a giant bomb. Ooh, could kill her. She gets it. Woo! That was scary. But he had to use so many freezes. Now he doesn't get most of those freezes for the Lalo. Battle blimp for the core. Early as heck warden ability. Ooh, that's gonna be a high value blimp though if it takes out all those defenses. Eagle and two multis. What's in there? He's got a rage. He's got a clone. Rage. Cloned yetis in the core. Okay. I mean, they get both multis. Lalo gonna move around to the left now because of that. Cool. We got one freeze, one haste. Is it enough? There goes the haste. There goes the freeze. He's running really low on time as well. 40 seconds to go. He's dropped most of the cleanup already. I think he's gonna get all the defenses. Does he have the time? That blimp in the core was really high value. Down goes the air defense. Come on, path to the wizard tower. Thank you. Some of the balloons are low. Only 23 seconds. TC's last building in the middle. Time, he's got it. Oh, look at him, dude. He's sweating. The balloon split. The NATO! Oh, that's gonna waste like another eight seconds. Uh-oh, but Warden's shooting the cannon like a boss. He's got the sneaky. He's got it. Woo, baby. It's a triple. P. Castro keeps his team alive. And now all the pressure on Yuta 14. I think he has to get better than an 84. So 85% two star for the win. Yuta 14 with the final attack. And he's bringing Queen Charge Hybrid? Interesting. We don't normally see him do hybrid. He needs 85% two star or better. Can he do it? Queen over on the seven o'clock side of the base. We wall break to get her in toward the six o'clock side. Okay. Is he gonna hybrid through the town hall? That could be scary as well. We rage up the queen and the healer. Scattershot doing a heck of a lot of damage. She'll eventually, ooh, I was gonna say she'll wrap inside for the scatter. The Tesla, I think she'll still go inside. Yeah, he's gonna use a bunch of balloons to be safe anyway. Another Coco Loon going toward the scatter. <laughs> Holy traps, dude. We rage the queen again. That's already the second rage. We're gonna try to pull the CC troops early. That didn't work too well. Ends another hog. That's still, bro, it's not getting the pull. It's only getting like one goblin at a time. Rip, he's gonna send two more hogs. Oh, he's only got four hogs for the rest of the attack and he still doesn't get the full pull. This is starting to look sketchy for Yuta. He's only got four hog riders for the hybrid now. And, oh my gosh. Is he really about to end on the town hall? Huh? Oh no, he's gonna wall break queen over there, but the single, he pops warden ability right away. He rages, but she's gonna have to fight the lava dog first. Oh, this is gonna get sketchy. Oh, the invis. Makes the hound invisible. She goes for the single. She ignores the hound. Ooh! Bro, this is such a ballsy attack. We heal the hybrid. The hound comes back. The town hall's awake. The warden tower doing a lot of damage. We don't have any rages. We don't have any freezes. We don't have any invis at all. Queen? Pops the ability. Go for the town hall. Go for the town hall. She does. <gasps> She gets it. Does he get the 85? Oh my gosh, bro. Yuta. <laughs> he was making it close. Jeez, but I think this is still a three star. Got the giant for the back end. We got sneaky. We got wall breaker. We got minions. Woo. Wow. The balls on this guy. That was scary, but he gets it. It's a three star and queen walkers win the match. They beat sta Space Station. Space Station. Queen Walker is going to be going to the upper bracket final. Space Station going to be going down into the lower bracket. Queen Walkers with the win. 14 to 13. 98.2 to 95%.